Well, on Thursday, I reported on YSU's first of many steps it's taking to ta tackle the continuing decline in enrollment. After citing those declining numbers for the past five years, we wanted to look at what's contributing to the decline. Why are less people attending YSU? Well, one expert says there's many factors and the pandemic has added pressure. Colleges continue to see a decline in enrollment. The National Student Clearinghouse reports a nearly 5% enrollment decline compared to last year. Ohio has seen a 13% decline since 2010. YSU reports 12,600 students enrolled in 2017 compared to 11,200 in 2021. Experts say one big factor is economic inequality. The lower you go in terms of um, access to to money, right? And the schools that are that are that are in areas that are less uh, wealthy, those schools are suffering. On top of lack of state funding and teen birth rates declining. And what happens is tuitions increase and then students have to take on debt. She says universities need to look at the bigger picture and not cut programs valuable to Ohio's future. University leadership should have the confidence to think about what our society needs. There's a lot of universities that lose a ton of money on athletics programming, that spend a ton of money on on their university leadership, um, making you know sometimes vast amounts more than people at the bottom and that and mid level faculty are making. YSU's OEA union is responding to the university's announcement to cut programs and faculty. In a statement, the union says, quote, it's bewildering to us that the Board of Trustees has approved massive cuts that will negatively impact students' educations while refusing to apply the same cost-benefit analysis to the university in its entirety, including administration and athletics.